everyone, welcome back to another Brahala video. So today I'm just gonna be some more one v ones. But I think today we're gonna be using Cross. Now the thing about Cross in my opinion is that I feel like he's a very underrated character. Uh, one of the best players in the world right now is actually going to be using him in the next big tournament, and which is pretty surprising. But after taking a look at the character, it's really not because I think a lot of people underestimate him. I really like his weapons are actually quite strong in the meta right now, and his signatures are actually quite good too, as well as his stat balance. So Cross. I really enjoyed playing him, and I think like, I'd like to think that I'm pretty good at him. Guys. I'm not sure if I played properly guys yet, I don't think so. Hey, hey, we go. Let's see. There was. He was the first character introduced that his signatures were different if you held them down. You know, most of them if you held it down they just kinda stall it. But uh for example, like you saw right there for his gauntlets, the down one, his a uh, hand will travel underneath the floor. And the longer you hold it, the further it'll go. Alright, guns. This person really makes it. Uh. Oh, they tricky. You would have stopped that soon right there. Yeah, that's his, uh, oh jeez. Oh, I almost got it with that. Yeah, got it with that too. See, if you, if you hold this, oh, it's so close. Mm. Yeah, got it. So that, yeah, I uh, kind of showcased all the things right there. So there's the forward one, which he jumps forward and kicks. There's the down one, which he folds it down and shoots forward. Oh, that should be quite hit me. It's a gun battle right now, as you can see. Oh, everyone is trying to get hit. Mm. Oh, they got that one. Oh, I killed myself. That was a mistake. That was pretty bad. Oh. Well. His gauntlets are pretty strong too, but I myself am just not the best gauntlet player. I'm pretty, I can be pretty good. I'm trying to get some nice things up. Oh, almost. Yeah, see like that one. You hold it down to the little red spot, travels. Oh. Hmm. Got you. Yeah, as you can see, if you hold it down, that little hand goes through, and you gotta let go at the right time, so I'm just gonna catch him. This one, you can hold it down long in the air, like it just didn't matter a hit. Let's see. Almost did it again. His four one isn't this though, it's just big fist. Very good attack. Eek! Oh, my Oh, it's actually, uh... Interrupted that attacker there. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's better than that. No! Oh. Mm. Yeah! Mm. Let's see if it can just... Uh, that's usually a pretty good one to hold in the air. Oh. I just barely interrupted that. Uh. Yeah, we got it. So that's what's really annoying about that one. People on the edge usually try to jump over you or dash through you. So if you hold that down, it actually holds that down for a really long time. Cross. <sighs> As compared to some of the other signatures in the game. I really like it. Oh, another cross. He's going for dexterity. I don't think dexterity is all that useful on cross. Like, the amount of Three, impact two, it makes on his moves roll. is nowhere near as good as the stats it'll give if you're going for defense. 
like how the values work in this game is if you're doing uh, putting stats in another place, one step uh, in the distribution for like mid to high, like there's high tiers, there's mid tiers, and there's low tiers. Like three defense or three attack would be a low attack character. Uh, you know, four, five, and six would be uh, mid, and seven and eight and nine if you predict just that would be high. So if you're going through a distribution like he did, like a mid, the mid gets not as much of an impact on if you did it a low or high. So if you want to change something, one of his mid things, you're not going to get as much of an impact as, as if you change one of his higher ones, like his defense, like I'm doing, or his attack. But everything is kind of stale here, so I'm kind of explaining. So just keep that in mind when you're doing, when you're changing stats for characters. Oh, that was almost good. Oh, he's done. Yeah, so if you want to change the stat of someone, I'd, I would suggest choosing one of their better stats. Like, they're old. Oh, you're getting aggressive, but I won't let him kill me. Though. There we go, just yeet. The down X on the guns are really strong because you can move with them quite well in here. Back to the gun battle. No. Mm. I almost got the position. So the guns are very good in the air. They're very good spacing tools. So what you want to do is you want to kind of keep your opponent at a distance. And just kind of space them out. Yeah. Oh. See, the spacing is really important. Nah, you got. Me. See, I wanted to turn around and uh, do my four up on him, but get the same idea, so it's gonna be faster. like his down signature on his gauntlets. I think it's very strong. You know, because people will be like, oh, do I move forward, do I move backwards? Hmm. Okay, I knew he'd go straight for the weapon. He just kind of... Hmm. Well, that was almost good. There's a few things you want to try and do with gauntlets on his hand. Gauntlets are just very strong in uh, a lot of places. Like that forward, that forward, uh, forward punch right there has a lot of reach. So does the down. The yeah, down punch has a lot of combo potential. Like if you, yeah, see what he just did. If you do the down scene to the regular punch combo, it's actually very strong. And like I said before, the down X is very strong too. Oh. Yeah, I got him. Yeah, there's some pretty strong things you can do in this game across, and I think he definitely has some potential. He's great. I mean, that's going to do it for this episode. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.